In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious turkey wings. I'm going to show you how to get intense flavor, not only on the skin, but also when you bite into the turkey. I'm sure we've all had this experience. We bite into a turkey, the skin tastes great, but the flesh is just tasteless. Like the sauce, the marinade didn't really get into it. So in this recipe, I'm going to show you how to overcome all that and get delicious tasting turkey wings every single time you grill. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Buki. I'm a food blogger and I live in Lagos, Nigeria. For my grilled turkey wings, I'm using four turkey wings. I'm using onions. I'm using habaneros. I'm using garlic. I'm using ginger. And I'm using some herbs. So I'm using basil. I'm using fresh thyme, bay leaf and some stock cubes. I'm also using Worcestershire sauce, I'm using brown sugar, I'm using smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder and some salt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blend my onions, my habaneros, my ginger and my garlic. I'm going to add a little bit of water into the blender and I'm going to blend this. This is part of what I'm going to season my meat with. You can chop this up if you don't want to blend it. You don't have to blend it. You can chop it up or mince it if you have the time. I just find it easier to blend in the blender. This adds some water to it because I'm going to use this to steam the turkey. If you prefer, you can chop yours up. And when you add it into the pot with the turkey, you can add some water. So I'm going to put my turkey wings in a pot now and I'm going to pour my blended pepper and onion mixture over it. The ginger, the garlic, the onions, the habanero, this is going to add intense flavor. I'm also using this selection of herbs because I feel like it will add another depth of flavor that's really, really good. Now, this is key to get really tasty turkey. You want to make sure that it's seasoned properly. You want to make sure that the flavors go all the way in. You don't just have the marinade on the skin and it tastes really nice on the skin, but like all through the turkey, as you eat it to the bone, it tastes really, really good. So I've added my stock cubes and some salt also. I'm going to mix all of this together and make sure the turkey is properly covered. I'm going to set this on fire on low to medium heat and let it cook. You can rinse your blender and add some of the water just to get a little bit of water in there because you don't want the turkey to burn. You just want it to steam for about 30 minutes. I'm doing it this way because turkey takes a long time to cook. So I don't want to put it in the oven straight away. It's going to take a lot of time. So I'm steaming it first to get the flavor in, to soften it a little bit. I'm going to create a marinade that I'm going to bask the turkey with just before I grill it. I'm just checking on my turkey wings now. It looks nice and tender and it's about 25 minutes. So I'm going to take it out of the stock and let it cool while I make the basting marinade. And of course, this is what the turkey looks like. It looks absolutely delicious already. You can cut your turkey in half if you like, but I wanted to do whole turkey wings. So I didn't bother cutting it. So in a bowl, I'm going to mix the brown sugar, the onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika and a little bit of salt I'm going to add about half a cup of Worcestershire sauce to this the Worcestershire sauce is going to give it a salty depth of flavor the brown sugar will add some rich sweetness and give the turkey a really nice crust when you grill it I'm going to mix all of this together until the sugar is properly dissolved and I'll just set it aside. So 
so i'm getting a rack now and i'm going to put some foil paper over it if you have an open grill or an electric grill like i have you can use that but i didn't want to do it on the open grill this time i want to do it in the oven so i put my foil paper on this rack and i'm just going to arrange my turkey wings on here and give them a bit of space for when i want to turn them because they're going to stick a little and you may struggle a bit to turn it over Using a brush, I'm going to rub the Worcestershire sauce marinade all over the turkey. Make sure it's properly covered. You get the ends, you get the bones, you get everything. So every part of your turkey tastes really, really nice. If you don't have Worcestershire sauce, you can substitute soy sauce with apple cider vinegar or soy sauce with ketchup. And that will also work and you get roughly the same flavor profile too. So I'm just rubbing this all over on one side. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side too. My oven is already preheating to 180 degrees. So it's already nice and hot and this turkey is ready to go in. I'm going to grill it for about 20 minutes on each side. The brown sugar in this marinade is going to sort of melt and form a nice crust on this turkey and it's going to be absolutely delicious i love using a combination of this brown sugar and worcestershire sauce the salt and sugar flavor is so so good this marinade is also good for chicken but you don't have to cook your chicken first because chicken is a lot more tender i tend to use this marinade a lot because it's really really good trust me So I'm going to put it in the oven now and just let it grill for about 20 to 25 minutes on each side and then I'll turn it over or you can do it until you have a nice crust. So mine grilled for a total of 40 minutes and it came out looking so so yum. Just to plate it I'm going to put some lettuce on this plate and then place my turkey wings on it but of course you don't have to do that you can just put it on the plate and dive in straight away. This turkey looks so, so yummy. Don't you agree? I love the crust on this and I can't wait to dig in. I'm just trying to plate this prop to make it look fancy for you guys. I'm sure you understand that. So I need a couple of tries to get it to sit properly. I have a pepper sauce that I made earlier that I doubt that I'm going to need, but if I need it, it's right there. I'm going to cut into this turkey wing now and show you how moist and delicious it is on the inside. I really want you guys to try out this recipe and let me know what you think. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me and subscribe to my channel on YouTube by clicking the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification also so you're one of the first to know when I post my lovely recipes. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.